What's up guys, Matt and Blake from the Football Boots team and today the big question on everybody's lips is why aren't some of Nike's biggest headline stars currently lacing up in the brand new Mercurial Superfly 6 and the Vapor 12? And it's not just Nike's pro players who might not be feeling the new Mercurials. Blakey, what else has been seen online? So these comments were posted on our review of the Superfly 6. Check that video out if you haven't seen it. But a lot of people just don't like the look of the Superfly. It could be the looks, it could be the actual boot. We don't really know, and we'll answer that in this video. But a lot of people have been saying, I'll just read out a few of them. I don't like them, they look shocking, they're ugly, the most AliExpress looking boot I've ever seen. So in this video, we're gonna be covering all the reasons why pros haven't switched to the Vapor 12 and Superfly 6. All right, matey, before we talk about the Vapor and the Superfly, we'll go through the biggest boot spots of the previous week. And the first one is a video, and this is Sergio Ramos in training slotting a very very nice goal there but what's he wearing on his feet it happens to be trix tempo legend 7 so on one foot it is his signature edition and on the other foot it's the fast af pair so he's gone to trix he's done this before he's won the hybrid phantom 3 and the legend 7 on left and his right feet the next one is a very very interesting boot spot it's a blackout prototype of what we think is the nemesis what do you think these are many well these two possible explanations to this blackout boot from Messi. Firstly, this could be an upcoming colorway. Adidas do love their blackouts as a pack, so this could be an upcoming pack from Adidas. So if you love your blackout boots, this could be a very good option for you. Or the second explanation, maybe he is wearing the prototype to the Nemesis 18. It could be coming out soon. The Nemesis hasn't been out for that long, but sometimes what Adidas do, they make slight modifications. So potentially, this is the first look at the prototype Nemesis 18. The next one, we talk about Harry Kane and his signature Hyphen Lows. These are sensational football boots, and if you're a Spurs fan, there's only 100 pairs available worldwide. These are blue, white, and gold. Do you like these boots? Well, you said they're sensational, and I think the colors used are very nice. I like the white, I like that shiny blue, and also that metallic gold. I think those three colors are very nice, but my biggest problem with this design is the actual Hyphen and design of yeah. old, when they came out and had that radiation flare half and half, it wasn't for me, since then Nike have done some more solid colorways, which I prefer definitely. So I like the colors used, but not the design. Next one we see, we talk about Roberto Firmino. Now this is a very interesting pick, like you said before. There's two options that could be happening with this boot spot. He could just be wearing these standard cold-blooded Nemesis 70 plus 360 agility with red socks. Or what else could it be, mate? Well, I think, Potentially, Adidas could have something up their sleeve, which is a little bit like what Nike have done on their Hyper Venom, also on their Superfly Magista. Yep. Could the Nemesis be coming out with a mid-cut collar? I think it's something which Adidas could do. They could trial it. I don't think it's gonna be here for a long time. It might be a limited edition release, but you might see a Nemesis boot come out with a slight mid-cut collar. Next one we see, we're talking about Thiago Silva for PSG training. He's wearing a Blackout Tempo Legend 7. Now I don't know the reason why he's doing this. Maybe his Nike contract has ended and he can only wear blackouts. But that's just a little boot spot there. The next one we see is Gonzalo Higuain. Scored one of the fastest Champions League goals we've seen in a long, long time. Wearing the Lock and Let Loose Hyphen Phantom Lows. Very, very good boot. But this colorway actually came out about six months ago. Five to six months ago. So I don't know why he hasn't switched to the fast IF Hyphenums. Next one, we talk about your boy, Moussa Dembele. What's he wearing? For me, I think this guy in centre mid is one of the best in the Premier League and he's also proven that in the Champions League as well. What's a performance for 90 minutes against Juventus? Obviously, Spurs went behind and I think him and Eriksen were the two catalysts who actually made Tottenham get back on track. Yep. Great performance, but he's actually wearing the Adidas A 16.1. But I think the reason for that is... I think someone like Dembele, he's not the most stylish guy in the world. I think he wants a pair of boots on his feet which he thinks are comfortable. No. And he's obviously broken those in so much, they're gonna be soft like butter. We see with Tony Cruz, and I think Dembele is exactly the same. And another boot spot we see is Lucas Moura wearing that very sort of unknown cold blood colorway. This is the silver pure speed design. Made his debut for Spurs wearing that silver cold blooded design. Of course, you can see Harry Kane wearing his signature hybridums. What do we see here? What do we see here? Well, we've got a couple of things. We have got Shalaba on the left-hand side doing a little bit of an Ashley Cole pose. But you can just see his left foot in shot. Now, this is actually a mistake from Nike. They're gonna have to put their hands up. They have inadvertently leaked the brand new colorway of the Nike Mercurials. Obviously, the launch colorway was the orange one that we've got on our desk. 
But the one coming out very soon is most probably gonna be the alternative colorway, reverse it to all over black with a little bit of orange. Lovely colorway. I still prefer the orange ones though. Hopefully we get these in the testing because I haven't even tested the Vapor 12s yet. I've just tested a Superfly 6. But there's also a Vapormax Plus colorway in there that a girl's wearing, which look very nice as well. But Blakey, myself and all the guys watching this video who clicked on want to know why are some of Nike's biggest players not currently lacing up in the brand new Mercurial boots? So this was in the Premier League last week. We've got Alexis Sanchez wearing the Fire Superfly 5s and the Flyner Ultra Ice Edition being worn by Eden Hazard. Now these two players were at the Nike event. They were two biggest players at the Nike event along with Neymar, but they haven't switched to the Superfly and Vapor yet. And I'm gonna ask you this question. What boot do you think is better out of these three options? The Superfly 5, the Superfly 360, or the Flyknit Ultra? Well, last night, luckily, I got to wear the Superfly 6 for another time for about an hour, so I have fully tested these now. And I can say, for the first time officially, that in order of preference, I would say the least that I prefer is the Superfly 5. Very high performing, but the comfort is actually pretty abysmal. I have to say, I've never really enjoyed playing in Superfly 5. Then we get into the big question, the Superfly 6 or the Flyknit Ultra? And it's a very tight call because they're similar, but the biggest difference for me is the upper and the overall fit. Which one has the best upper, which is a massive point for me, the Flyknit Ultra hands down. It's so aggressive in terms of that friction from that Nike skin blended in with that Flyknit. But then overall in terms of the fit, I'm gonna have to go with a Superfly 6. I think a very important factor to me when playing in a pair of boots is what boots makes me feel more confident. And I have to say the Superfly 6 playing last night, I felt very streamlined. And that's something which I don't really get from a lot of football boots. So I think right now, my favorite, I'm gonna go with the Superfly 6. So you sort of did answer that question. One of the reasons why players haven't switched to the Superfly 6 yet is because they haven't had enough time to break these boots in. And this is Jamie Vardy. He's wearing the Superfly 5 CR7 Cut 2 Brilliance Edition. So he hasn't switched to the Superfly 360. Next player we're talking about is Alex Sanjo. So one of the best left backs in world football hasn't switched to the Vapor 12s, still in his Fire Vapor 11s. Next one we see, Sadio Mane scored a brilliant hat-trick in the Champions League, wearing the Loch Ness Loose Vapor 11s. Now his boot story is a little bit different, maybe he hasn't signed a new Nike contract, but he's in the Vapor 11s over the Vapor 12s. Next player we see is Usman Dembele, who has switched to the Vapor 12s, but in a blackout edition. He will switch over to the Fast AF version very, very shortly. Maddie, you've tested these boots, you wore them last night. You really, really need to break them in, don't you, before you wear them? 100%. I think it's a little bit harsh sometimes when these brands give players brand new boots, especially Nike. Sometimes what Adidas do fair play to them is they give players boots about a month before they actually get released. Yeah. So when they are released to the public, then they can play in them straight away. To be fair, the Champions League, we're into the round of 16 now. This is a massive event, huge stage. So I can understand why players like Neymar don't want to go straight into a brand new pair of boots. They need to feel confident and yep. comfortable for those 90 minutes in the big Champions League games, but I'm sure it's not going to be too long before these big players actually move into the new Mercurials. Now, we just showed you the players that haven't switched, but these are the players that have switched. And of course, CR7 has switched. He scored a brace against PSG in the Champions League. Massive, massive performance for CR7. And we get a first look at what he's actually wearing on pitch. Now, the collar looks exactly the same as the current Superfly 6. So Nike, clap your hand, you've done well there. You're getting CR7, your biggest player, to actually wear pretty much the same football boot. He will have a custom mold, but the boot, looking at them right there, they look exactly the same. But he's wearing an SG pair. Now the next player we see who has switched is Casemiro. He switched to the Vapor 12s, also played a big match in the Champions League. And looking at this picture, you can see how many players actually wear the X17.1. And they've all probably got custom versions. You've got Bale, you've got Benzema, and a few other players wearing the X17.1 in training. Now we get on to Mbappe. Now he's gone from the Vapor to the Superfly. Why would a player do that? I'm not too sure, especially because this time around with a Superfly 6 and Vapor 12, there is hardly any difference whatsoever. Yeah. Maybe he wants to slightly, and I'm talking very minimal, more sock-like fit, of the Superfly 6 over the Vapor 12. Yep. I think if it was my choice, and I haven't even tested the Vapor 12 out yet, but I think I might go the other way. I want a Superfly 6, but I might go Vapor 12. Now we see on Instagram that Kylian Mbappe has revealed that he's a massive Mercurial fan, 
and this is his collection. It's pretty vast. And what do you think is happening with this? Well, think? I saw this video on Instagram when it came out, right? And I was like, oh, and Beppe has got the sickest collection of Mercurials. Obviously going back to like 1998. But then I was thinking, I've seen these boots, right? And these boots from back in 98 and also 2000, yep. which are bigger sizes than these boots coming out in the last couple of years. So I'm not sure if Nike actually set this up and gave Mbappe all these boots and Mercurial collection to post on his Instagram. But nevertheless, this is an outstanding collection and I wish I had some of the boots in this. And here are some more players who have switched the Vapor 12 and the Superfly. We've got Douglas Costa of Juventus and Serge Aurier of Tottenham Hotspur. And again, Kyle Walker, he's gone from the Superfly 5 to the Superfly 6. This picture shows that Isco, your boys, switched to the Vapor 12s. And as you can see there, Vapor 11 worn by Neymar in that pure or phenomenal colorway. And this is Luka Modric, right? You love Luka Modric. But as you can see in the background, CR7 and Isco have switched to the new Mercurial. But as we mentioned earlier in this video, players need enough time to break these boots in. And some players will wear the old generation for up to two months. And this next picture is a very, very good picture showing that players actually prefer what they have broken in. And this is a picture of Raheem Sterling and Fabian Delph still wearing those ice colors of the Play Ice Pack. But some players have switched, like Kyle Walker, Kevin De Bruyne, Otamendi, and Fernandinho have switched the Fast AF colorway. So now onto some football news and more boot spots. AC Milan have signed a long-term kit deal with Puma. Are you a fan of this? I don't agree with this move. I remember when I was growing up, AC Milan were always Adidas. Inter Milan were always Nike, and to me, this just feels so alien. I can't really imagine an AC Milan shirt made from no. Puma. And this might be a bit harsh on Puma, but to be fair, I don't really like their shirts. I think they are a little bit cheap. The way they just press the badge on as well, I like it when it's actually embroidered. So for me, I think this is a little bit of a downgrade for AC Milan. Now talking of Puma, Sergio Aguero again scored in the Champions League against Basel and he scored five goals in two games wearing the Puma 1 18.1s. Now imagine the Puma 1 18.1 without Aguero on the cards. It would just struggle so much. They're so lucky that they have Aguero on their cards for the Puma 1. Now we talk about the new clutch foot replacement, the Medico. This is Trent Alexander-Arnold wearing this boot and we've got two other wearers in the Premier League. Your boy, Jacob Murphy and Granite Shaka. And a couple more boot spots, we see Pepe of Besiktas wearing the Umbro Medusa Pro. So this is the one that doesn't have the collar. It's not the elite version, but I have to say, this is a very, very nice boot and shirt kit combo. Next one we see is Cristiano Ronaldo's son, Cristiano Jr. wearing his CR7 signature editions. It looks very, very classy. Next one we see is Clivert. So this is Justin Clivert, Patrick Clivert's son. Patrick Clivert was one of my favorite players growing up, but he's wearing the pure Phenomeno boots Neymar is still actually wearing. Next player we're talking about is West Ham right back, Mikel Antonio wearing the new colorway of the Umbro Velocita. Next one we see is Tim Cahill, the 38 year old Australian, signed a deal with Millwall, and he's one of very few players to wear the Vissaro. I think they're gonna cancel the Vissaro in the future, but again, it just looks like he's wearing a custom version of that very, very stiff control boot. And the last one we see is in Mexico with Andre Pierre Gignac wearing a very nice Lone Hunter kitten boot combo with the X17.1s there. And that's us, Matty. Guys, that is a wrap for today. So we've pretty much, or tried to at least, answer the question why some of Nike's biggest players aren't currently lacing up in the new Mercurial boots. But that's our opinions. So what we want to know is, in the comment section below, let us know what you guys think about it. Why aren't Neymar, Modric wearing the new Mercurials? Please let us do know in the comment section below. But guys, that's a wrap for today. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you next time.